Happy Tuesday. It's the 16th of November. Uh, got blood work this, this morning while you're watching this. I'll be at the VA getting punctured in the arm. And while I'm doing that, welcome to my channel. One. Well, today we have Heath Hecht, and I hope I'm pronouncing his last name right, H-Y-C-H-E. Uh, he's a little bit different. Uh, he's not telling jokes. If it's possible to have one man skits, uh, I think he's right there. I found him fun to watch. I'm not going to say he was funny, but it was fun to watch. Uh, it's about 38 minutes long, and the entire time I had a nice smile on my face. So, so here's about eight minutes of Heath. Heath, take it away. So, you know, I, I, uh, I, I was growing up as a kid, always in front of the television. I was a television fanatic, movie fanatic, moved out to Los Angeles, got in a couple of TV shows, a couple of movies. <laughs> you guys are like, we don't know who you are. <laughs> That's okay, uh, I figured something out. The reason you probably don't rescue me, uh, rescue me, recognize me, <laughs> res help me! You don't, you don't recognize me is because I, when I was on camera, I didn't wear glasses. Now, now I can look out there and say, people are like, why, why would that matter? Because I'm gonna teach you something. Because when an actor wears glasses on camera and remove the glasses, they steal focus, you remember their faces. You guys are like, there's no way. Okay, I'm gonna show you you what I'm, what I'm talking about, um, removing glasses, and this is in every genre that has ever been created on television and films, removing glasses to steal focus. I know this works because I do it in my acting class that I do at home alone in the mirror. So uh, <laughs> just clap for the ones you like, removing the glasses, you've seen them all, to steal focus. Here we go. Number one, the soap opera decision. <laughs> funny just let you know what we're doing okay <laughs> this one's called oh no what's in the backyard what girl is always a nerd until she takes her glasses off. 80s movie. What? <laughs> the superhero, superhero. Guys, you want to watch superhero? a sitcom, here's the opening. I played nerd guy with glasses, opening credits of a sitcom. Okay, last one, big finish. Late night, late night pay-per-view. Here we go, watch this. <laughs> obvious an action star and uh <laughs> thanks lady uh <laughs> but i know because when i was out there i realized i don't know any cool moves if i'm in a movie where i have to beat someone up i don't know what i'm doing you know so i th this is so true I, I signed up for a class in los angeles to learn some moves true story <laughs> i signed up 11 years of Taibo. Now, if you don't remember Taibo, Taibo was kickboxing, martial arts set to hip hop music. You remember that? Do you remember that? Yes. Cool. I learned a lot of cool martial arts moves. The problem is, I now need music to fight. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, that really sucks in a parking lot without an iPhone. But if I'm, <laughs> if I'm in a movie in a nightclub and I have to come in and tear it up, you know, and be cool, I'm gonna look so smooth because of this class. Like, use your imagination, like I said, a little volume on this. Coming into the nightclub, this is what I learned. Watch, this, you, this is my movie. Watch, here we go. Here we go. Follow along and listen. This is exactly how my brain works. You guys are a good crowd. You're going to get it. Just listen, watch a little bit, and I'm going to do it. Here we go. Go. The African Serengeti. The drought season. Here, grazing alone, we find the western white bearded bearded. <laughs> Truly one of nature's most ridiculous looking mammals. <laughs> Feeding on the grass, the entire herd has trampled and manured on. <laughs> As we march, little does this will to be snow, he is currently being stalked by a vicious cheetah. you enjoyed Heath. Uh, I found him funny. Uh, I, I'm not rolled down, but the entire act, which is about 38 minutes, I had a smile on my face. So give it a watch. I think you'll find him very, very enjoyable. It's, it's different. And now for my opinion. So since I'm running for president in 2024, I thought I'd give you my position. I consider myself a liberal, and I'm going to define what I'm considering a liberal. I believe in human rights. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe that the state has a responsibility to its citizens. When I mean state, I mean the country. So that no person, and it may sound a little socialistic, but it's not. What it means is that if you're, it's a safety net to keep people from falling through the cracks. So. Uh, later on, I'll have more detail on what I mean by falling through the cracks and how, to, how that system's going to work, but that's what I believe as a liberal. So, there you go, my opinion. If you don't agree, hey, feel free to put comments below. 
So far, you've all been too chicken to do that, but feel free to do it. So, this is Rich Auerbach. We'll see you next week. Bye.